Qashqai in Portugal plays host to the penultimate event of the 2013 RC44 Championship Tour. With plenty of the big names of sailing in town, it promises to be a week of tight and competitive racing. Local interest is high with Patrick de Barros at the helm of Team Qashqai. Uh, we're very excited to sail Team Qashqai again in RC44. It's the second time we have this event and it's, um, it's a great honour for Qashqai. I think it is uh, undoubtedly the best uh, sailing projects and boats of this size. Uh, the level has gone tremendously up. You see the teams are much stronger. Straight off the back of winning the 34th America's Cup, Russell Coots, the founder of the class, joins Team Italia and is looking to post some strong results. Obviously we'd like to get some wins, wins on the board and, and uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a new crew, so, so we'll, we'll obviously try to keep things simple and try to, to, try to do the uh, important things well. Artemis Racing's America's Cup team manager and double gold medalist Ian Percy joins the RC44 fleet as tactician, but today he's at the wheel. I'm really excited. Um, this is a cool circuit. It's my first experience of it. Today's the match racing. It's going to be the first time I've done one of them for seven years behind steering, so I'm a bit concerned about what a mess of it I'm going to make. But I think a lot of the owners have become very competent at it over the last few years. And I think it's a very good format, giving them the opportunity, especially at the beginning, really sharpen up your boat handling before you go into the main fleet racing. Day one was all about match racing, with seven flights of round robin scheduled. After three events, just four points separate the top five teams in the match race standings. There'll be little margin for error. Team Aqua proved the team to beat, boasting a perfect six out of six. The battle for second was an altogether tighter affair, with Synergy Russian Sailing Team, Artemis Racing, and Gazprom 2 all scoring four wins. Conditions proved tricky with big swells and variable winds. But this didn't stop local sailor Patrick de Barros on Team Qashqai taking three wins along with current match racing leaders Katusha also securing three wins. So after a tough day on the water, it's the British boat, Team Aqua, held by Cameron Appleton, that jump into the lead on 19 points, with Russia's Katusha in second and Synergy Russian Sailing in third. Well, you know, anytime we win races, it's a great thing. We, uh, we, know, we understand that. It's a, it's a challenge for me, speaking only English, with a fully Russian team. And these guys, are, are they're terrific to me, and, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, we're, we're really pleased. We, we met everything we set out to do today. And, you know, the guys worked really hard all day, and they had a great day, which was, you know, a big thing for us. And um, big credit to the guys for that. 